Hello, everybody, and uh, this is the 27th uh, weekend, uh, Sunday of Ordinary Time. Uh, I hope you are having a blessed week. We certainly pray for um, the people that have been devastated by Hurricane Ian and find ways of which, in which we can help them. Uh, it's a matter of our own way of looking up maybe Catholic Relief Services or maybe our diocese will have us inform us of another way. Um, also, uh, in today's gospel, uh, Jesus says, and to answer to his apostles who asked him, Lord, increase our faith. And he said, if you have faith the size of a mustard seed, you can uproot this mulberry bush, and he points to it, and have it uprooted and cast into the sea. Um, we must hold on to what Jesus is saying here, because the different mulberry bushes that are in our life could be the things that are impeding our spiritual growth. And the Lord wants us to be successful. And with his power and his grace, we will be. We can claim it. There's suffering along the way, but that's the cross. It's for our purpose, for our sanctification. We are not to be afraid of it, but to move forward. I want to draw your attention now to the beauty of this month of October. Um, today that I'm filming this is actually October 1st. It's the Feast of St. Therese of Lisieux, who is known as the Little Flower. Study her life. Go deep and to discover what her little way is. I'm uh, sharing with the parish uh, information about this special book. I hope you can see it. Can you? Okay. Mm -hmm. It's called uh, Living the Mystery of Merciful Love, 30 Days with Therese of Lisieux. And um, I experienced it last month. I'm a veteran now. Let me tell you, it's powerful. It's great. I'm going to do it again because there's lots of homily material in here. But... More than that, material that can change lives, help us to be strong in this life, help us to trust that the Lord does love us and wants us to do ordinary things in extraordinary ways for humility to lead the path to holiness. Other dates of this month to uh, celebrate, um, October 2nd, which is tomorrow, although we, it's Sunday, uh, in ordinary time, uh, we're celebrating, it's also the Feast of the Guardian Angels. October 4th, we celebrate St. Francis of Assisi. October 7th, we celebrate uh, Our Lady of the Rosary and the history behind that, the victory of, of Lepanto. I don't have time to teach with this announcement, but I'm just going down the list. October 11th, uh, newly canonized saint, um, St. John, Pope, Pope John XXIII. Um, October 13th, the anniversary of the miracle of the sun at Fatima, which took place in 1917. Please know what this miracle is. Please know what the messages of Fatima are telling us to do, especially in today's time, where we certainly need to pray, not only for the conversion of our country, but the conversion of Russia from communism. Um, October 15th, St. Teresa of Avila. October 22nd, we celebrate the um, memorial of St. Pope John Paul II, the Great. So many things that we be inspired by these saints and know that God has a plan for us to also be saints for him in the world today. Um, a couple of dates from our week coming up. Uh, know that our RCIA classes continue. They're on Thursday, October 6th, this week, from 6 p.m. It's in the church. Our uh, St. Uh, John's Bible study is continuing. Um, that's next Wednesday, October 5th at 6 p.m. in the school cafeteria. Um, we will give you more information about upcoming grief sharing programs and things related to that. Our St. John's School Gala dinner and auctions to be held on Friday, November 4th. So come and join us. Tickets are $60 and are on sale now and can be purchased at the St. John's School office by calling 850-456-5218. That's 850-456-5218. 5218. Auction donations also continue to be accepted at the school. If you have an item, gift card, event tickets, accommodations, merchandise, or a service to donate, it can be used as an auction item. Also, get in touch with the school about being a sponsor for the gala. More information can be found in your bulletins. The Lord Jesus bless you with a wonderful week. Let us pray for peace. Let us help one another in our difficult times.